Hey guys, it's Mike with Mamco Machine. How's everybody doing today? Um, welcome back to the shop. Man, springtime's rolling in pretty good here. Let me tell you what, it's the first day we've been able to have our doors open and uh, get some nice breeze in and get some sunlight in the shop. Um, taking this nice day though, I'm going to start doing a little bit of cleaning. Um, we've accumulated some scrap over the uh, last couple months. Haven't been able to go to the scrap yard. We don't like going there in the wintertime when it's cold and everything like that. So we've kind of been just stockpiling the stuff we've uh, been making and the chips and everything like that and the stainless we've been cutting out of our CNC plasma. So I'm just going to take the day and make a video about me going to the scrap yard. Uh, show you guys the stuff we, we scrap out and maybe show you guys the process down there. And then also I'd like to go over the prices of scrap currently after that. So what my local scrap yard's getting, giving us some prices. And uh, maybe we can compare with your guys' local scrap yard. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if the national average here in America of steel, but I think we're at 160 a ton on steel. So I don't have a big steel load today because I got a mosh posh or stuff. I got some aluminum stainless, copper, uh, some wire. I got to get rid of a little bit of a little bit of brass. So it'd be cool to look over the sheet and see what we got on pricing. Other than that, guys, um, a couple of little things I'm thinking about doing here in the shop is uh, obviously we're making more videos, making more personal videos. Of how we do work around here, how we do it. Um, I also think about starting up a Patreon. Uh, if that's something you guys are interested in, maybe doing more one-on-one -on -one videos with you guys, the Patreon subscribers. Also doing all of our giveaways on Patreon as well so that uh, we can kind of sustain the giveaways. We do a lot of, like like I've said in all my other videos, we do a lot of auctions and it'd be, like, be nice to help you guys get some benefits from our auctions as well. So I'll be looking into that and uh, checking out the comments below and see if I get some positive feedback on the whole Patreon thing. Um, if it doesn't seem like you guys are interested in I'm probably not going to waste my time setting it up though. So if that's something you guys do want to see, make sure you guys uh, leave a comment below that you guys are interested in that. Um, also, I have an Instagram page. I'm not entirely active on it. I take pictures maybe once a week or even once a month. So I'm going to try to get better at taking pictures on Instagram of what we're doing around here. Uh, just some uh, glamour shots of chips we're making and uh, some of the processes we're doing around here. If you guys are interested in that, that's already set up. I just need to get better on my end, but I will try to start figuring out how to either leave a link down in the description of my Instagram or maybe a clickable button. I see some YouTube channels do that. I'm not too savvy on the YouTube editing yet, but I, I think I'll start giving it a shot so I can start uh, promoting myself on different platforms. Um, other than that, guys, I'm gonna take you over to the truck and show you guys what I have loaded up um, just so you guys can get a little bit of an idea of what I'm taking down there before I get down there and then uh, yeah we'll head down there get ourselves weighed up get on the scale do all of our dock all of our dock work and we'll go over the prices so let me take you guys over the truck real quick alright guys so I don't have a whole lot I know it looks like a lot but it doesn't accumulate a whole lot of anything so I got a little bit of wire some aluminum some stainless a lot of steel junk um, also, whenever I go down to the scrapyard, I let my family know that, hey, I'm going to be making a scrapyard trip in the next couple of days. And usually I get out on random things like barbecue grills, electric motors that came out of the basement that need to be gone, uh, air compressor back there, or uh, not air compressor, air conditioning unit back there, and just random stuff that they, hey, hey, we need to get rid of this stuff, you know. So it's it's kind of a win-win for me. You know, I make an extra couple extra couple bucks off the trip, make fill the truck up, make the trip worth it, but... And then all the stuff doesn't go to the landfill, which is what we're, which was what we're trying to achieve here. You know, I'm not a scrapper for a living, so I don't really care about making the money. It's nice extra couple twenty, thirty bucks here and there, but it's mainly to make sure this stuff doesn't go to the scrapyard. And like I said, this is just stuff from jobs that we've accumulated that we didn't throw away or get rid of yet over the winter time. So, just our kind of spring cleaning here in the shop. I figured I'd take you guys along for the journey. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and the next little uh, segment you're going to see is me on the scale weighing up down there. So I will see you guys there. All right, guys, driving onto the scale here. Get up here, we'll see what our weight is. Uh, curiosity. Can't imagine it's going to be a whole lot. We're at, I don't know if you guys can see that, it was 58.60. 58.60, so come over here to the pile and I'll unload. And uh, I'll bring you guys back in a little bit when I reweigh after I get my steel off. So, here we go. Alright guys, I got all the steel off the back of the truck. We're going to go back over here to the scale. Get our weight of steel. And then we'll go to the dock, get all of our non-ferrous metals off. And then our stainless as well. 
So I think we were 58.60 coming on the scale. Coming back on, we were at 54.40. So we lost 440 pounds. That's not terrible. So that's probably uh, 30 bucks. I think it's at 160 a ton. I think it's gonna be right around thirty dollars. Thirty dollars in scrap steel is not the best, but it's not worse. I mean, I've had worse. You know, uh, last summer it was down to, ooh, I think it was down to ninety bucks a ton. So, we've got to get rid of it because we don't have anywhere to store it. So I can't wait for highs or lows. But I'm gonna take you over the dock up here and uh, back up and get all my stuff unloaded up here. And then after I get done here, the next shot you're probably gonna see is me back at the shop talking about prices. So I'm gonna get us all unloaded and I'll see you guys back at the shop. All right, guys, we're back here at the shop and I did all the math from my receipt here. Um, I wrote it on a different piece of paper because the receipt was really hard to read. And now that I look at this camera, this piece of paper might be really hard to read as well for you guys, but I'll walk you through it. Um, we ended up leaving there with $236 and some change, which isn't bad for uh, saving stuff from the scrapyard or saving stuff from the landfill and taking it to the scrapyard. Um, so steel, they were giving us $160 a ton, which is eight cents a pound. We had 470 pounds of that, which came out to $33.60. So my quick math when we were in the truck was pretty close. Stainless, we had 134 pounds of, and they were giving us 50 cents a pound, which came out to $67. So that was a uh, definitely worth keeping your stainless for that. Um, copper, we had, so the copper, I kind of lumped these two together. Um, I had copper wire and then copper, um, copper tubing. So I had 25 pounds total. They're giving me $3 a pound on that. So I got 75 pounds for my copper. Um, they, they gave me a different price for my copper wire, but for quick math for you guys, for some simplicity fact, it was within like 10 cents a pound. So I kind of lumped them together for this, um, yellow brass. I had 10 pounds of, and they gave me $1.85 a pound. And that led to $18.50. I had 95 pounds of electric motors. Um, those are only 25 cents a pound, but that came out to $23.75. So I only had two electric motors, so that's not bad on those. Um, my aluminum, that was my shavings, my bulk aluminum blocks, and uh, other turnings that I had. Um, I had 31 pounds of that. And that was 25 cents a pound, so that came out to seven dollars and seventy-five cents a pound, or um, total. And then I had some other odds and ends stuff here that they just broke it up goofy for, um, for them. So I mean, if, when you do this math on this piece of paper, if uh, it didn't come out right to the two hundred and thirty-six dollars, it's because I'm leaving a couple odds and ends stuff out that's not even worth talking about. Like one thing here, I have three dollars and sixty cents, and it was just. Uh, it's called H3INS. I don't even know what that stands for, but that had to be some of my uh, stainless, my goofy stainless that I had sorted out, those hubcaps probably. So yeah, guys, um, definitely worth keeping the scrap. Um, I want to say again, I don't go out looking for scrap. I really don't. I don't have time for it. So this is literally just scrap we've accumulated the last couple months in our shop. And then plus all the other scrap that family has given me just because they know I'm going to the scrapyard. Uh, we do our best around here to make sure we don't overfill landfills with stuff that can be saved. Um, I wouldn't say we're necessarily green. We're far from being green. But we do our best to recycle and then recycle our metals as well and kind of be conscious of what we're getting rid of and how we're getting rid of it as well. So not a little, not a bad little haul here for uh, basically no work. I just had to load up the truck today and then take you guys along. So other than that, it was pretty much smooth walking. I think that's all I have to say about the scrap. I appreciate you guys watching the video. I really appreciate you guys coming along. I know this isn't really a machining video like you guys are expecting, but it does have to happen in a small shop. You do have to get rid of your waste and you do have to manage what goes on in your shop. I can't hold on to this stuff forever because I just don't have the room for it. I was already overflowing from what I was keeping. I'm lucky enough that I have a little bit of room to organize and sort my stuff. I don't have to get it all for you know, crap price that I can bring it in pre-sorted and they give you a better deal on it. So if you guys could please like and subscribe to the video, it does definitely help us out. Uh, I have more videos here planned for the future of some more work. A um, little update about the last video, how I quoted out that um, drainage for the guy's garage. Um, he did okay me doing that project and we did end up going with some bar grading. So 
I should be able to pick up my bar grade in here in the next couple of days and we will start working on that project. I'll take you guys along. We'll be able to use our weld table, our fab table, and show you guys how we do setups for quick and dirty work like that, keeping everything square. So that'll be a great video too. Um, also, from the beginning of the video, I talked about my Patreon, guys. If you uh, if you guys are interested in that, please let me know. We can do some one-on-one uh, -on -one videos, some Q&As just for the Patreon, guys. Some more uh, videos that specializes around what the Patreons want to see and maybe giveaways or stuff like that. So definitely keep that in mind, guys. Leave some comments below. Um, leave some comments below if you guys think it's worth saving all the stuff like this, you know. I think this was um, this was probably three months worth of scrap from the shop here, just of stuff that we didn't we just had to get rid of, you know. So it was two hundred thirty six dollars worth of time over three months to keep all this stuff and take a run down there and spend your day doing this, or what is it not worth it? You know, would you guys have rather just thrown it all away? So other than that, guys, I will see you next video. If you guys haven't, go back to the other videos and watch those. Some uh, really good introduction back to the shop video. And then uh, a couple other videos that we've been putting out. Other than that, guys, keep making chips, and I'll see you next time.